Hi everyone, I'm Peter Horner and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create a Google site. Now if you've never used Google Sites before, it's a really quick and easy way of gathering a variety of information in one place. Now, this could include text, images or content from your Google Drive and it's a really great way of sharing resources with your students. Sites uses a responsive design, so that means it adapts to a phone, tablet or desktop screen. You can also embed other types of content, such as video, calendar, maps, and many more different things. Uh, in Sites, you can work collaboratively, just like you're used to with Google Docs. And once you've finished your site, you can easily publish it with your class, the entire college, or the world. So let's get started and look at the ways you can create a site. So the first way is just simply typing in sites.new into Google and it will create a new site for you. Uh, another way, which is my preferred way, is to use Google Drive. So if you go into Google Drive, click on New, go down to More, and then select Sites. Uh, this will create a site in your drive, and the good thing about doing it this way is you know exactly where it's been created, so you can find it again later. Or the way I'm gonna show you now is if we go to sites.google.com slash new, and then select the plus icon down in the bottom right. This will also create a site for us. Now the first thing I like to do is give my site a title. So this just means that it's much easier to find it later. Uh, so let's call this one subject resource site demo. The next thing I like to do is choose a theme. So if we move across to the right hand side here and select themes, from here you can choose a theme color and font style that will be applied to your entire site. So Google have a nice range of pre-made themes ready for you to use. So I'm going to select the impression theme. So if we scroll down and select impression, and then you notice from here, you can change the color of the theme, or you can set your own custom color if you know the hex code. So I'm gonna use a college branded color. And you can also choose a font style. You'll notice as you make changes to the theme, this will be reflected on your pages here in real time. Okay, now let's look at customizing the header, which is this section on the page. So when we hover over here, we get the option to change the image or select a different header type. So first of all, I'm gonna select change image and select one. So from here, you can either upload an image, you can select one from Google's gallery or you can select an image from your Google Drive. So let's go with this image. Uh, this is one I've actually got from a website called unsplash.com, which is a great source of royalty-free stock images, which are good for using when you're developing a Google site. So let's select this one. And as we select it, you can notice on the right-hand side here, it's adjusting it to, to make sure it's readable. And look, so now it's made the, the image lighter, I made my text darker just to ensure that our site is going to be accessible. Now that we've set an image, let's have a look at the different header types available. So if we hover over the header again and then select header type, so by default, it will be the banner type, which is this one. You can go title only, in which case it removes the image and you're just left with the title. Or we could have a large banner or fill the screen with a cover image. But let's put this back to banner. Next, let's finish customizing our header by adding a logo. So if we go up to the top here and select add logo, and then let's upload one from our computer. Once it's uploaded, you can either have a transparent logo background, white or black. But I like the transparent background, so let's go back to that option. Okay, and now let's give our header a title. So let's give this title of welcome. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna look at the different layouts available and look at how to insert text and images onto your page.